This is a 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia. Three weeks ago, we had the privilege of spending the day with a 2023 Alfa Romeo Giulia. And we did notice our interior looked a little outdated. One of the main pieces or components that we haven't done yet is the entire 2020 center console, 2020 plus center console. So 2017 through 2019, all the interiors pretty much look like this or our interior right now with the exception of the steering wheel and the carbon. 2023 plus, one of the biggest complaints was the cup holders, so they repositioned those, made everything flow a little bit nicer. Everything just looks a little bit more updated, and we got to see that, obviously, when we sat in it um, three weeks ago. Now, we've already done the 2020 Plus steering wheel. We've already done the 2020 Plus shifter. The last thing that we needed to do was the center console. I didn't know if it was worth it until three weeks ago, and after I saw it, I knew that we had to do eventually do it. Here on the channel, we are used to pulling out our interior for our Julia. We've obviously put the Sparco seats in, obviously done a few steering wheels on the channel. Uh, we've obviously pulled apart the center console to put carbon pieces in. We're not new to this. We are new to some of the factors, so it's going to be a lot of plug and playing and try to figure it out. And you guys will come along with us as we try to figure it out. That looks so sick. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting this restitch uh, black. I'll can tear it down the middle. Down the middle. Down, down the, the middle. middle with uh black stitching or purple stitching? i don't know yeah this is 2017 this is 2020 plus um so obviously you can see this is repl this is moved from back here forward up obviously you get a little place for your key now the volume controls obviously have some chrome around it on both sides and then obviously this is completely just re-envisioned with the chrome around it now we will be going to, cr the, to carbon because obviously we already have carbon all in here. We want to make sure everything worked and plugged and play very easily before we switched out everything. Here's some of my concerns as I jump into this. One, for up here, it has um, like a cigarette lighter and I think ours is down here. So I don't know if like the harness will even reach that far or if I need like a completely different harness. And I hope that one over there came with one. Um, and then obviously this is stretched out up here again. Don't know if that harness works or if that harness works or if this harness works um and then like this has usb ports now on the other one it doesn't I only think it has this one i'll show you the other one so the other thing about this one so this is this would go where this one goes essentially so obviously it has the usb port too but it has this uh, cigarette lighter one of the other factors is this has wireless charging. I don't know if that's still gonna work. So again, this does have its own entire harness. I don't know if we're supposed to use this harness. We're supposed to use the other harness. So step one is I have to see if this bolts into this with ease. If it does, great. And then I have to see if these plugs plug into this harness and if that works without problem. And then, We'll go from there. If you guys want instructions on how to pull the interior apart, we have tons of videos that do that. Um, obviously, we're not going to do that here on, on on camera because we've already done it a few times for you guys. So these, this is the back of the 2020. This is the back of 2017. Selectors out. They're both the same size to remove them. Selectors out. Drop the selector over here. And now this one should have the selector. It'd be perfectly fine if I left it up like that. I am noticing that I am I'm gonna have trouble with getting because this right here is the e-brake. And if you guys look in here, this is the e-brake one right now, and this is not gonna pull unless I look at it a little differently. I don't know how this is gonna pull all the way up here. It just doesn't seem feasible right now. So it's looking like I have to use this harness over here, which thankfully this came with. Obviously, I'm gonna see if I can plug what I can into the old harness to see what does work. So if that doesn't work, at least I still have the regular harness and maybe some things may not work, I don't know. So the good thing is, is this is just a plug and play, easy enough. All right, to make this uh, just make sense, I just unplugged and unbolted everything these are the 2017, these are the newer ones. Obviously, I'm gonna be using this one to plug in. You guys were wondering, um, these units, you cannot swap or interchange them into the different panels. 
uh, like this is a 2023 um, it just doesn't fit they're not shaped the same way even for the volume button it's like this has more of a squared edge and there's three weight like three ways it bolts in versus this one has more of a circular end i don't know if you guys can see that on camera the only one that matches is the race mode verbatim even though these have the same bolt patterns um, again the this portion is shaped differently so you can't reuse them um, and then i'm not too sure about this i'm gonna go check this one right now as i get this one pulled out but i would assume it's the same for this okay these are all 2020 plus buttons except for this race mode so let's go ahead and try to turn the car on i have it sitting in the passenger seat I'm just gonna turn on accessory mode. The volume works. No lights, this works perfectly fine. Menu works. This brings me to settings. That works. So, so far, these work in this harness, meaning vice versa, that harness should work over here. The odometer's blinking. That means you just gotta do a proxy alignment, not a big deal. Okay, just an update. I took off the shifter. Those were uh, three, four T20s. And then you had these, uh, they're kind of under here now. But 10 millimeters that I took off. And now it seems like this whole thing is free. So I'm gonna try to yank this out and see what happens. But yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Um, so people can see them. You're on camera today. Welcome back. This is day two, number a dose of doing this. Crystal's done no work. Luciano's done a ton. Uh, <laughs> so we're just trying to get into this. So just to go over the differences, I'm gonna lay them side by side. If you wanna help me out, dear wife. Side by side. Just so you guys can see the difference. Clearly, this has some like space up here. This doesn't, this slides back. There is no sliding back here. Cup holders do look bigger, right? Actually, they kind of do. Uh, as far as the buttons, I already kind of went over that. The only one that's replaceable is the DNA. <laughs> uh, everything else does not fit. It does look a little bit, I think it's just because it's one solid piece, so it looks a little bit longer. And then once you get to this piece, obviously there's nothing here. And this is where the wireless charger goes. Now, some people are saying that this has more space. Now I will say like, it's this is kind of like this curve that goes to kind of like nothing. So I wouldn't say necessarily it has more space either. I mean, tech, I don't know, side by side. Yeah, this one definitely has more space. Like this, this, oh, the, yeah. this one's a lot smaller. To be fair, I mean, you know, what do you really put in there anyways? So charger. <laughs> Um, I would say it's about like a few, an inch or two of space depth. It is a little bit deeper, so I think it makes up there. Um, and obviously this is just a better placement for this. This has like nothing here. The placement's up here, whereas this one where the plugs would go in here. So, I mean, it, technically, yes, less space, but I think they've kind of repositioned things a little bit more. A little bit better so it flows a little bit nicer and then once you close this your wires are still plugging out versus this you have to kind of smash the wires <laughs> i know this isn't like an in-depth like i'm not going to get the measurements and all that because honestly like for me it doesn't make that big of a difference i know some of you guys it might um obviously the, the main issue that i'm running into right now as i get this in is these two wiring harnesses are completely different in theory all of these buttons on either which way should work the problem that i'm trying to get is making sure i lease uh, this 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 charger is working. Um, so now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm, I'm gonna try to plug this one in to see what plugs in, what we're missing, um, and kind of honestly just go from there. Honestly, I was super impatient last night. I should have just filmed this in the morning because it looks great outside. You guys have so much more light in here. Again, it, it fits function, it fits what it functionally, it fits in here. The next question that I have is the harness which i am just honestly i'm just nervous to turn on but i'm gonna i'm gonna do that next and see what uh see what all that we're missing okay so far this will connect into here this will connect into here sorry this will connect into here this is the main harness which will connect into the main harness 
This will connect into, um, I thought one of these over here. I think I have all of them. So far my issue is what I'm not seeing is how these are gonna fit in, in here because this harness is not as long as the other harness which shouldn't be too much of an issue but it but it kind of is because i don't know what this goes to the next problem that i have or that at least that i'm seeing is there is no cigarette the cigarette lighter is obviously over here in the other car and in this car it's over there so that might not be plugged in maybe that's what this is for. i don't know so I'm gonna try to try to plug these in, see what happens, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stretch these to come over all the way over here, see if I can make it work. If I do, then I'll just be bolting everything down. Again, this will be a, a tight stretch, but everything will just be bolting everything down, making sure everything fits. Just just look how crazy this view is, though, huh? <laughs> Complete transmission tunnel or center consoles that get straight to the aluminum, huh? So basically, this cord right here. This right here needs to go all the way back here. Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah, you see how short it is? Uh, so basically, you're gonna have to strip your harness from being tied down. I bought I brought you scissors. I'm not using scissors. Okay. Because I'm I'm not You're uh, a real man? No, I'm I'm popping it off of the I'm not breaking oh that one broke. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't trying to break them. So, oh, play this fun game of. Ooh. So, it reaches a little bit further. So, we're gonna lift this up. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Just so. Not all the way, it's a little bit better. So what we should do is put this back. Is that gonna fit weird when we put everything back? So the only way that this is working so far is we had to literally throw the harness above the air the air vents and then pull it through. Um, I shoot myself in the foot here. I think everything plugged in. So again, the harness is just sitting a little weird. I'm gonna get into the back seat now. Bad news, guys. Updates. Bad news, bears. <laughs> so what we found out is you can't use this harness, which poses a few issues. Oops, we should probably just be taking that out. Here's the issues that we're running into. So when we try to use the 2020 harness, and again, I told you guys I was going to take you guys along the entire way. So if we use the 2020 harness, one... The wireless charger isn't working regardless. And two, the what's irritating is these are interchangeable as far as the mounting points. They mount up perfectly. The problem is, is the backing, this one, I think I threw it out already. This one versus the new one, or versus the old one, they're two different plugs. I thought about repinning it, but this one wasn't even getting power. So like, I don't know if it changes, per year like uh, like it won't even read it basically what i'm saying is we can't use this at all yeah so we already tested this harness and obviously the theory is, is is that one works the problem is is because everything is mismatched and misplaced i don't know how it's going to reach in certain aspects like we just push to get it to fit back there there's so many things wrong with trying to get it to work so I don't really know at this point. So basically what we're doing is now we're removing all of this harness. Um, again, I think the other harness is gonna be too short. And again, I don't know how, I genuinely don't know how how this turns on, how the uh, wireless charger works. We're just gonna plug in the other harness, see where we go from here um, and try to figure this out. Right now this one is the only thing that's giving me some problems. We're gonna try to figure that out. But yeah, very interesting stuff. Again, I don't know who's who's done this before, but this is this has not been an easy process. <laughs> okay, update. As always, new issues always arise. 
one problem that we solved. So this was a dead plug. I wonder how long Alpha knew that they're gonna fuck us and switch us. <laughs> because this was a dead plug and it literally plugs with ease back into it. The next thing we have to see is if it actually like has enough room once we bolt it in here or like how it's gonna play out. We can't use the rear vents from the 2020. We had to use the rear vents from the 2017 uh, because the plugs were, were separate. So these are the two only plugs that are left over, these two. So, and then the last big issue that we ran into, this on the other one, it mounts like a really weird way, one, two, three. Now, what lovely Alfa Romeo did, this whole mounting bracket is completely different. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> this ain't working as of right now. This is it. All right, I know yesterday was a mess. Trust me, I know. Day three of doing this. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you didn't throw a like, make sure you like. If you want to throw a comment down, I know some of you are going to say, why do this? Why go through all this trouble? Some of you are going to appreciate all the hard work of the last three days that we put into this. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll, so if this is your first time ever clicking on a modern motors video, obviously I, this is probably the wrong time for introduction, but I fi figured going three days into this, we'd kind of explain a little bit more of who we are. Um, but anyways, we've been building the Jolia for the last two years on, on YouTube. Um, a lot of our sponsors obviously helped us put this car together. We are not in the market of building QVs, we're in the market of building 2.0s. Um, and showing what you can do with, uh, with a little bit of money. So we bought this car for $18,000 and we've been building this again for the last two years. And not everybody has the money to go buy a 2020. Obviously you're talking about a 45, you know, 35 to $40,000 car versus us picking this up for 18 and this whole entire swap has cost us so far less than a thousand dollars um so again we have way more than that invested into it um but well, obviously with monetization sponsors and now you guys buying our merch um it's kept this budget very very low for us which is always fun um so we figured there wasn't any videos out here so we'd be one of the first people to try to attempt this and boy have we learned a lot during this process um when we say we put our blood sweat and tears we put our blood sweat and tears into this process um and again it was a lot of unknown variables i tried looking online there's like i think one person who said that they've done this uh, but i couldn't find anybody actually running it into their car um, so now i think we have a full picture of how this is supposed to work we are going to put this in and today you're going to get the final look um, again if uh, you watch this entire video in its entirety and kind of saw us go through the i know a lot of this may be repetitive um, because obviously we're we're trying to tell you guys as long as we're trying to figure it out if you did stay for the entirety we greatly appreciate your support because that that means the world to us and it helps us get pushed out in the algorithm and it helps other you know, alpha owners find us so shout out to you again so if you wanted to replicate this i do not know the specifics behind it i do not know why it doesn't work the 2020 plus harness we have the full harness from 2020 does not work with these cars and it's mainly because of the dna selector no go um, we plugged the 2020 harness in everything plugged in exactly the way it should have plugged in the harness was the right length in every which way and form um, but for whatever reason i don't know if we could repin that last that last clip but it was not working that, that it was the selector was not at all second thing we learned that uh 2017 does work um however it is very short in certain places so the e-brake if you guys remember it kind of sat don't pay attention to all this mess back here. Um, it sat right over here. Um, but so for 2017, the e-brake's here. For 2020 plus, the e-brake is right next to the shifter. And that causes so many issues. That, that one little thing right there, our harness isn't really long enough. So we're gonna have to really stretch it <laughs> to make it work. Um, so some wires are tugged in different places. The really cool thing Alpha did was they made another ignition, uh, like for like the cigarette. Um, they had two plugs already in there, so it made life really easy when we wanted to do that. So what we're in, running into right now, we ran into two issues. Um, one being, we thought this was a wireless charger unit. Finding out the hard way, it's not. After we unplugged, plugged, plugged. So when you guys see us yesterday, unplugging, unplugging, unplugging. We we're trying to get the wireless charger to work. We couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work until I completely disassembled it. And I realized there is no, <laughs> I literally completely disassembled this thing. You guys can see in here, we wanna take a peek in here. I like this whole thing is completely in shambles now. There is no wireless charger unit. Nope. There's nothing to plug in. 
Now, the easy solution to this is just getting the wireless charging unit and plugging it in, trying to make it work, all that good stuff. Right now, we're not gonna go through the headache of that. I think I may potentially in the future get a rig it to just have like a plug-in wireless. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Concept is to get this in today. Second thing that we're running into, <laughs> which has been fun. I don't know if I explained this well yesterday. This is the um, mounting for, this is the mounting bracket for 2017 through 2019. This does not fit in the 2020 um, in the 2020 console. Unfortunately, thank you to the company that sold this to us, did not sell us the mounting bracket for the 2020, 2020 plus, sorry, game time tied. Uh, <laughs> I reached out to them, no response yet. I reached out to another company and they said they don't have the mounting bracket. So I am going, don't think I'm not going to buy one. I am going to buy one. For now, I need this back in the car because obviously we need to drive the car and I'm not putting the 2017, that's off the table. <laughs> putting the 2017 back <laughs> in there. Far in. <laughs> so yesterday, I got ahead of myself. Didn't get to film any of it because I was very frustrated. I dremeled this. Okay, I didn't dremel, I lied. I, that big saw back there, I saw oh this. My God. I couldn't find my dremel. Sawed this off, sawed this off, sawed this off, and I <clears throat> got it to fit. Um, and I, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I use zip ties to hold it in and it works. So, don't, <laughs> it works. Um, it's, an it's, it's not the right thing to do and we are going to buy the right unit. We just need the right mounting bracket. So this still mounts the same. We just kind of like <clears throat> hold it in there. So it's going to be ghetto for now. It's going to be ghetto for now. Um, I still haven't tried to check if this unit so yesterday i did cut my finger open so i have blood everywhere on this thing but we're still trying to get this e-brake to kind of fit make the harness reach um so that's what we're going to be doing today so you're going to get a version of it looking finished but you're not going to get the full version of it so um the armrest um there's two things to this one somebody one of you guys has already bought which is he's actually one of our giveaway winners and he bought some of our merch if you guys buy some of our merch i am indebted to you guys and you will get faster responses from me um jason the one who purchased our merch he already wanted to buy the carbon i worked out a really good deal with him he's got the carbon that sold and now we got to buy this unit in carbon now that i know everything works um and then we have to obviously get that red piece reupholstered to, uh, to, to black, uh, black Alcantara and black, just black in general. I'm not gonna spend another $300 for a whole new armrest. I'm gonna get something custom. So it's gonna kind of be done, but kind of not. <laughs> um, but you guys will get the finished version of what it's supposed to look like. And again, if you guys think I should put down in the comments if you guys think I should get a rig it and just kind of like cut a hole and put like a wireless charger in there I could definitely Stop. do it. I'm definitely thinking about doing that because like I don't want to have to go get the wireless charger module and all that good stuff um so yeah we will be one of the first people to do this on YouTube um it does work again we haven't figured out the wireless charging unit because we don't have one secondly um the harness is short you do have to use 2017 wiring harness and it does have to kind of have to figure everything out and life out it is kind of confusing but thankfully we were able to do it for you guys. You can reach out to us on Instagram for some additional support if you guys need it. Um, everything plugs in exactly the same. There is no plug left unplugged except for like one. And I can't find where it goes to on the 2017 harness or this harness, so maybe it was just a dead plug. Um, and I can show you guys in a little bit what plug it is, but literally only one plug is left out. That's it. Pretty straightforward, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys get it. You guys, you guys, you guys understand. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna find this mounting bracket. Jason uh, from Alfisimo, if you're watching this, if you have that bracket, hit me up because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Puff of war. Um, so yeah. So now is the last of it, getting everything. Oh, and then obviously, uh, I know I mentioned this already, but just one more time, you can't use the 2020 plus. You're gonna have to use the 2017 uh, because this plug right here, which thankfully the 2017 plugs straight into this, so it's not confusing. Uh, but yeah, this plug is different. That's the only difference. Yeah. Sometimes being ghetto works out for you. So you, what you do is, you see how it doesn't fit? You just kind of just shove that there. <laughs> and then you just get a zip tie. Oh, wow. You cut everything off, huh? Well, buddy. <laughs> Sometimes we got to be an American about it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make do with what you got. <laughs> Not everything's rainbows and sunshines. <laughs>
for real. See, okay. This is not a rainbow or sunshine project. <laughs> thing is. Seriously. We could have skipped this whole part and pretended like it worked. I'm honest Abe over here. I want to tell you guys the truth. <laughs> we struggled with this one. That's the right thing to do. <laughs> Voila. Everything is in. It looks like a 2020, huh? <laughs> Only way you wouldn't be able to tell us on a 2020 unless we told you, huh? And then you try to touch it. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, oh, he's not. He's a liar. <laughs> it looks, we upgrade this. Yeah, it looks like a 2020 though. What do you think? It looks legit. What do you think? Yeah. Do you like the newer look? What do you guys think in the comments? I know I put a poll on Instagram and like almost 100 people said the 2020. Yeah. Um, and only a few people said 2017. Honestly, I, I'm, I do like it a lot though. I'm a fan of both. I'm, I'm not yeah, gonna lie, I'm a fan too. of both. I'm a fan of the old one because I like how it covered the cup holders, but also I'm a fat ass, so I love that this can take yeah, a I love drink. this. I love the extra storage here too. Yeah, me too. Try to get this in some decent lighting. The red doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's off for sure. I definitely need this in carbon. It's driving me absolutely insane, but it looks good in the in the daylight. Honestly, dude, it looks pretty good. I, I do, think it came out great. It looks phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, you know, it gets the job done. It gets it done. It, it looks like a 2020. Sure Genuinely. It, does. it shifts perfect. Goes into neutral. You wouldn't you wouldn't even be able to tell that I zip tied that. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to yank it around. Nothing. Yeah. Power zip ties. Power zip ties. This looks great. That's yeah, it. That's, that's all it. I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is three days in the making. I don't even know how much footage we have. Uh, I'm going to throw really all of it in there. Do what you will with that info. Um, <laughs> we'll see you guys very, very early next week. Um, probably with more Stelvio content or Jolie content. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Our days are scrambled. Yeah. Um, so we'll see you guys in the next one. We appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys found value and we'll... Are you singing? The question is, can you put the 2020... 2020, don't, don't pay attention to all this stuff we have back here. Uh, we're still moving in. Yeah. This is a very unnecessary box, but I appreciate the packaging. What That's are you doing? Box. Oh, it's yeah. a box inside of a box? Yeah. Boxception. <laughs> You guys didn't watch our last video, so if you guys can tell me in the comments what you didn't like about it, I'll just go ahead and delete it if you guys want. <laughs> in the last video we mentioned, because none of you watched it, uh, that Texas Mako gave us uh, the...